Soldiers of the 19th Engineer Battalion are bolstering their defences, not in some far-flung war zone, but on American soil. They're in Texas as a deterrent to illegal immigrants, hoping to cross from Mexico, just on the other side of the Rio Grande. Happy to lend a hand any, any way I can. Uh, I, believe in the, I believe in it, and as long as we're helping the, uh, the Border Patrol, American President Donald Trump has sent just under 6,000 troops to the U.S.-Mexico border. Their mission? Provide support to Border Patrol as large groups of Central American migrants attempt to make their way into the United States. And the purpose of these barriers is just to, you know, so these the, the migrants that cross, they'll see them and choose, uh, instead of crossing that barrier, to go ahead and cross at the bridge, the, the designated location to process them into America. But the caravan has traveled to Tijuana, over a thousand miles away, leaving the troops here in Texas with little to do. In Laredo, the largest terrestrial point of entry in the U.S., and whose population is over 95% Latino, people are critical of the deployment. The army being deployed here is ridiculous. It's absolutely stupid, because if they want to come in, they're going to come in anyway. Um, it's absolutely ridiculous. Hundreds of migrants do attempt to legally cross the border around Laredo every day. A handful of recent arrivals are recovering from the long and arduous journey at this welcome center. Our border is very fluid. It has been that way for centuries. It will continue to be that way. I think what gets people attention is the large numbers like the caravan and that makes people anxious, excited and afraid and they don't know how to respond to that. The military deployment is set to wrap up on December 15th and will have cost the American taxpayer an estimated $72 million.